Councilors, please rise. Time having uh, arrived. It's uh, April 24th, 2017, it being 8 p.m. I call the City Council a meeting to order. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, please stay standing. Uh, we had a great former colleague here, Todd Petty, who served the city admirably for many, many years. The Petty family, of course, well known in the history of the city of Brockton. Unfortunately, Scott Petty passed away. If we could take a moment of silence, remember Scott and the Petty family. Yeah, he rest in peace. Thank you, Councilors. Uh, Councilor Farwell. Yes, sir. Absolutely, Councilor. Mr. President and members of the City Council, as you may remember, there was a essay contest sponsored by the Brockton Police Patrolmen's Association and me which began last December and what I would like to do is have Officer Healy and Zena Rosa Andrade come up front to be presented with a citation and with the winning prize. Absolutely, Council. Zena, this is an official citation from all of us on the City Council in recognition of winning the uh, Police Community Essay Contest, and we congratulate you and we thank you as a young person who is part of the future of Brockton for being involved in this endeavor and for offering your thoughts on how we can improve police community relations. So, congratulations. And now Officer Healy has something that's worth a lot more than this citation. So. <laughs> on, on behalf of the Broughton Police Patrolmen's Association, congratulations, young lady. Thank Check you. Check for $500. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you to the family. Oh, oh, oh. A copy of her winning essay, by the way, uh, the copies will be made. Council, we, we would really appreciate that. Congratulations again on behalf of the City Council. Thank you. Thank you. With that being said, we're going to go into the agenda. If we could uh, go on to agenda item number one, please, Mr. Clerk. The acceptance of the minutes of April 10th, 2017, City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of David Silvestri, 363 Ash Street, Brockton, the trustee of the War Memorial Building for a three year term. Referred to Finance Committee. The appointment of Laurie Monahan, 174 Manomet Street, the trustee of the War Memorial Building for a three year term. Referred to Finance Committee. The appointment of Richard Bath of 38 Frost Street, Brockton, as trustee of the War Memorial building for a three year term. That to refer to Finance Committee. Reappointment of Miles Jackson, 25 Stearns Avenue, Brockton, as a trustee of the War Memorial Building for a three year term. Referred to Finance Committee. Reappointment of Henry Tatalga of 33 Brook Street, Brockton, to the Lice Commission, License Commission for a three year term. Referred to Finance Committee. Reappointment of Ozzy L. Jordan Jr. of 31 Hollis Street, Brockton, to the Water Commission for a three year term. Referred to Finance Committee. Reappointment of Bernie Hassan of 26 Reese Circle, Brockton, to the Water Commission for a three-year term. That to refer to Finance Committee. The appointment of William R. Thomas, Jr., 19 Albert Avenue, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a three-year term. Councilors refer to Finance. The appointment of Kenneth Grace, 146 Court Street, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a three-year term. I also refer to Finance. The appointment of Robert William Bishop, 333 Foundry Street, Southeastern, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a three-year term. Refer to Finance Committee. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 18, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor stating that an agreement has been reached between members of the Public Employees Committee, PAC, and the city's negotiating team pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 32B, Section 19. 
accepted and placed on file, Counsel. Communication from the CFO relative to the site. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending that the city council approve the order that the mayor and or real estate custodian be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land containing approximately 5,695 square feet located at and known as Part 8 Wilmington Street, more particularly described as possible identification number 103-053. Accepted and placed on file. Ordered that the mayor and our real estate custodian be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land containing approximately 5,695 square feet. For the real estate committee. <coughs> Resolved to invite Ms. Sarah Morris, the coordinator of the newly created Downtown Center for Community Engagement Office, and allow her to present information on the services provided through the center that are available to volunteers based organizations in the city and to discuss the community gardening program to the city. That is referred to uh, Finance Committee. Resolved to invite Mr. Kenneth K. Friday, the director of the Greater Brockton Center for Dispute Resolution, to introduce him and allow him to present information on the services provided through the center available to anyone living in Plymouth County to the city council. That also is referred to Finance Committee. Council Stadensky. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Clerk has in his possession a late file for this meeting. <laughs> Motion's been made. It's been properly seconded. All in favor of accepting a late file? I'll oppose that motion carries. April 24, 2017, I hereby appoint Alexander Devats of 32 Kathleen Road, Brockton, Mass, as a special police officer in the city of Brockton for a one year term, assigned Mayor Bill Carpenter. Council Stadensky. Me, Mr. Uh, President. Uh, the gentleman is currently a fully sworn officer on our department. He's come here now. He's uh, trained. We have no training. And he would be somebody that could, if we could move through this tonight, passing on the Spencer rules would help beef up a 22% shortage in the uh, present school police. Council, in your capacity, not as a city council, but as the former uh, well regarded police chief in this city, uh, would it be your professional opinion this is the right thing to do? Yes, it is. Thank you, opinion. Councilor. Thank you. Motion's been made. Councilor, on the motion? On the motion, yes, Mr. Uh, Chairman. I I've, I'm not a law enforcement person at all, but I've always been under the impression that when somebody even transfers from department to department, there may be some kind of inter, I intercessory kind of training or something that needs to happen instead of somebody just kind of joining the job immediately. Is this something that we might want to refer to finance just to discuss it at least a little bit? It's my understanding. Kind of good question. It's my understanding this would just be a special police officer. It wouldn't be someone. Is that correct, Counselor? It's a special, but no transfer is involved yet. He has sworn off his other job and hired by the school department. Oh, I think no transfer. The no, no transfer. Okay, so he'd be a special officer. What is that? I don't understand what that means. What is right, that? Right. Well, that, uh, just a quick little bit of history. Absolutely. He was working for the state police as a dispatcher. He uh, has goal oriented. He paid for his own spot in an academy. He went there with money he had saved. He, he was able to go there, receive the training, passed it very well, and then he was hired by the. Uh, in Boston, the uh, UMass Boston Police. This job, he, uh, he had heard about this opening. He made application to us. Lieutenant Donald Mills felt he was a good candidate. Uh, in, his in the possession of the clerk is the form from the uh, chief of police. They co the people. They check with the departments. It's just like bringing on any new person. And he passed all those standards. Even though he's a special police officer, he is a full sworn police officer in the city of Brockton. Okay, I, I guess I just have to reiterate my question. What would it be his capacity as a special police officer? Would it be in school police? School in police. I'm sorry, I, I missed that. Okay. School police officer. Um, if the body wants to approve it, that's fine, but I, I would like to talk about it, but I, that's just my reservation. You have the ability, counsel, if you want to uh, object to uh, under the suspension, you have the ability to do that. Do you choose to do that? Um, no, I'll just reserve my... Okay. Any other questions on this matter? There's been a motion for properly second to act on the suspension of the rules. All in favor of that? All opposed? That motion's going to carry. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could uh, please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Barnes? No. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Pioneer? Yes. Barlow? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? No. Stadinsky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Uh, that, that, that matter has been uh, ordained. Counselor? I'll move 
reconsideration and a hope it does not prevail. Second. Motion's been made properly second. Uh, hopes of reconsideration does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Uh, Council, are there any moments of personal privilege? Yes. Council Beauregard followed by Council Azak. Okay. Uh, well, the um, water rate meeting was held last Wednesday at the Arnold School in the cafeteria. And at that point, several people spoke out in opposition of raising the water rates. And uh, at this point, we apparently will be hearing from the Water Commission next month at some point to uh, further this discussion. But uh, several people, as I said, spoke out against it. And uh, the other um, information I want to mention is it seems to be my theme for the month of April, and I'll stick to it, our, our last meeting here. Uh, once again, I was um, attending a meeting. This time it was for License Commission. And we almost didn't have a quorum. So uh, at the last minute, someone came through. But again, I encourage people to consider being involved with the community and submit their letters of interest and uh, resume to either the president of city council uh, at 40, again, both addresses 45 um, School Street, 02301, a city hall, or the mayor, and, and on uh, several uh, boards, there again are individuals that uh, no longer participating for certain reasons, and uh, there are again, um, how would I say it, positions available. So again, uh, thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Isaac. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to thank everybody who uh, participated and volunteered and keep Brockton beautiful this past Saturday. Um, the weather was not very wonderful, but um, everybody, we did have a great turnout. So everybody that did come out and help uh, clean up, so I thank them. These were this year's t-shirts, which I thought were really uh, different and nice. And thank you to all our sponsors that were on the back. So another great year for keep Brockton beautiful, and um, we hopefully keep Keep watching beautiful every day. So thank you. Thank you, Council. You know, I, when I got my shirt, it seems like every year I have to get a bigger size. <laughs> but that that shirt fit me well this year. Of course, it was an XL. But um, Council, it's just for a piece of information and in, uh, housekeeping. Um, when Mr. Siri uh, came before us last week, it, what he gave us an update relative to the elevated city hall wasn't that promising. Um, so with that being said, in my capacity as president, I'm going to uh, to just let you know that we will be meeting here for the month of May. So any finance committee meeting, any city council meeting, we'll be meeting here. I know it's not the optimum location. We'd prefer to be at our chamber, um, but I think it's, it's, it's best to do that right now. Um, and I know the dean of the council, Mr. Dianeri, is going to be notifying Mr. Uh, Super Deputy Superintendent Thomas uh, of the fact. Um, but just for, for your purposes, we will be meeting here for the entire month of May. And we'll have to see uh, what the mayor wants to do relative to the budget. We hope that we'll be able to get back to city council sooner than later. Um, councilors, I attended yesterday, and I know Council Beauregard was there, the 150th uh, Jubilee celebration of the First Lutheran Church. Um, I gave a greeting on behalf of the city council. Uh, Senator Brady was there. Uh, State Rep Jerry Cassidy was there. It was really, really well received. 150 years is really a milestone. So I just want to let you know that the council was definitely there in, in spirit. Um, anything else before us? Uh, Councilor Cruz. President, uh, the ordinance committee, uh, Tuesday, May 9th at 6 p.m., we'll be having an ordinance committee meeting. Uh, I will let you know. We'll announce the uh, location after we uh, work with the clerk, and uh, uh, we may be at the unknown school. We may be here, but uh, it's a Tuesday. Tuesday night, May 9th at 6 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you. Councilor Lally, April 27th. 27th, the birthday of our uh, esteemed <laughs> council president. And some guy that used to be the ambassador showing up, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. Brookfield, right? <laughs> yeah, Brookfield <laughs> Elementary School, 7 p.m. I uh, do try and carpool. Parking will be tight. It's parent teacher conference night as well. Ooh, okay. um, yes, but the ambassador will be there from 7 to about 9 to talk about his experiences and answer any questions. Uh, informative. Uh, Informative speaker, I highly recommend it. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Fowell. Yes, very quickly, I presented a citation on behalf of all of us to Bayless Sanford Lodge on Saturday. It was the occasion of their 100th anniversary. And uh, just to get a plug in for the Fowell family, Bayless Sanford served on the Brockton School Committee from 1881 to 1885 with my great grandmother. So. I enjoyed the, uh, you were there, Mr. Was he nearly there then? I wasn't then. <laughs> thank you, Council, thank you for doing that, and thank you. It was you for well received. Thank, thank you. you. We really, truly appreciate that. Um, anything else before us, Councilors? 
I wish you all a good evening. Uh, this meeting's adjourned.